Elder Scrolls Online and its expansions are MMORPG variation of the super famous series. Don't be fooled by the online part because if you are a single player gamer, you will get a lot of content for your money too. Basically if you enjoy relaxing role playing games, like Skyrim, you will enjoy a lot of content in here too. Over the years it has grown into a great way to experience Amariel. Constant push of content and development make it a game that if you are starting now, you won't be lost. But you will have a lot to do. I played ESO when it was released on PC and played it hundreds of hours. For this review and for my enjoyment I have played over 100 hours on PlayStation 4. The console version is as great and almost feels more relaxing than the PC version. Communication with others is easy with a keyboard or voice chat. Dash. If you are familiar with Elder Scrolls games you know pretty much how the game will work. You create a character and then you are pushed to the enormous world through an intro. There are main quests in the world, but the world of Tamriel is segmented into areas. All of the areas have their own quest lines and stories to explore. Choosing a class of your choice might be as hard as creating the look of your character as everything is fun to play. Questing through the world is fun enough. This will also take you forever if you dedicate yourself to go through every area of the game as there is such a large variety of quests and locations. Everything you do grants experience to the way you have done it and thus opening new skills to that way of playing. If you love using a one-handed weapon, your one-handed weapon skill grows and you will be able to unlock unique attacks and skills considering that. Every weapon style has its own skill tree as well as your class. Different guilds like Mage's Guild. Fighters Guild, Thieves Guild, etc. have also their own experience bars as well as do crafting different items with different methods. There is so much to do in the game that if I just were to list everything here, that would take forever. Unlike in many MMORPGs you are not limited to choosing professions. You can level up and craft from clothes to heavy armors, from maces to destruction staffs. This gives you more possibilities when making money in the game as you can invest a lot of your time to upgrading all of your crafting skills. This way you are master of all styles and people will be purchasing a lot from you if you decide to sell them. A huge amount of achievements to fill, from fishing to furnishing your dream home to killing Dedric Lords. Huge PvP faction fights with hundreds of players and a ton more. If I were to list everything, this review would become way too long. There's a lot of variation on the continents and areas that are constantly being released with new quest lines and overhauled biomes. Dash. Even on console the control is pretty much perfect, as with PC version, aiming is very easy. Changing skill bars between off and main hands is smooth and overall every button and key is on your fingertips without causing you to stop moving or turning. Dodge rolls and break free controls work very well. Few times I've noticed do a small lag in a dungeon with other players that it didn't dodge in time cause of input lag. Most of the time it works perfectly. So I don't know if it was just a random lag on my own internet or other players. The importance of these controls is crucial for harder dungeons and mostly I've enjoyed every experience. Dash. Audio visual side of the game is one of the better MMORPGs. It has its own style and some areas are just stunning. Even on console, everything certainly looked more alive than the dead faces you encounter in vanilla Skyrim for example. Character models and environment are very detailed and lighting effects are very beautiful in dark places and every shadow renders rather softly and sharply if needed. I know that I often talk about the lighting in games, but I personally think that those are the most important element to a modern game. Since games don't anymore look like potatoes, animation is sometimes a bit clunky. For example some sprint animations are too leaned towards where you are running. It looks like the character is running downhill and on the verge of falling over. Other than that nothing really has popped in my mind negatively. Animations are balanced in quality and fit together with each other's and the overall graphic style. 
Audio is important in the story-based games and Bethesda and Xenomax certainly know this too. All NPCs have audio tracks and especially non-humans like Kajit and Argonian are perfect. A lot of NPCs have their own style of speaking and the characters in the world doesn't seem copy and pasted over the huge world. Dash. The game succeeds in many fields where other MMORPGs fail, but most hardcore players of this genre won't enjoy this. If you take a look at this a bit more from the casual side or a different kind of hardcore viewpoint, since you definitely can go all no life on this one. The game is awesome 9 out of 10.